What's that? I'm saying I should have gone all in on the river. It was so ah. such a good spot. I just really didn't think you had anything though, so. Talk with Queens yet again. Okay. You're talking about the favorable situations. He has found a lot of favorable situations in the big blind. Certainly has. For the three bet. This no longer such a favorable situation for Tom as Marcello <laughs> flops a full house. At zero percent. Actually, it's rounded down to zero because Queen Queen still alive, but you're pretty comfortable taking the zero. Yeah, it's about as near zero as you can get without it being actual zero. Marcello prudently just calling, holding nearly every relevant card in the deck. It's hard for him to see a raise getting paid off. How much money is Tom going to lose here? At what point does he start worrying about the ace? I'd say he's probably pretty worried about the ace by now. I don't think he's going to bet again. He might check and call. Marcello has shown a willingness to float in spots like this, and I'm wrong again. Well, 22, relatively small bet, just under half bot. Is it a bet you would make if you had an ace yourself? Is it a bet that Durr would make with nothing, thinking Marcello is floating? I mean... I think both of those are possibilities. I think Tom is pretty careful not to give away the strength of his hand by his bet sizing. So I wouldn't count out a very strong hand, a complete bluff, or occasionally a hand like what he's got that's more toward the middle. I mean, the reason for Marcello to raise here is because he can get a whole lot of money in with hands he beats. Yeah, if he's against ace-king, ace-queen, he's going to get this raise called, and he's going to get another bet in on the river. And furthermore, there can be a seed of doubt in Tom's mind about whether or not this might be a bluff. As you were saying, Marcello has shown a lot of willingness to float flops like this, and that's factoring into how Tom's played his hand. And faced with a bet here, that raise might be the only way Marcello sees to win the pot if he does have a float. And his, his biggest bluffs have been on the turn. They have. Oh, Tom, you're in trouble. Oh, he's he's in trouble. He's calling it. Because the only question is, how much is Marcello going to go for on the river, and how much is Tom prepared to back up? His judgment. Marcello has a good bit less than full pot left to play here. I think he's going to stick all the money in on the end. And he should. I don't think there's any other size that makes a whole lot of sense, no. Good chance Tom can get away here. Check. It would be Believe. awfully gutsy for Marcello to raise the turn and jam the river on a bluff. Yeah. Oh. I make it look so easy sometimes. They're laying down the queen's head up like it's nothing, and maybe it wasn't. But Marcello comes back a bit. <laughs> Look at that. Marcello now up $1,500.